guys, how you doing? My name's Tommy, and this is the Gallery Backyard Barbecue, and let me be the uh, first, 10th, or 20th to say, welcome to 2021. On today's show, I got a, a four plate rib or dino ribs. I'm gonna fire up the uh, master build. Look, my plan here, I don't do the dinos too much. I get more of the, uh, the smaller uh, beef ribs, but my plan here is to go 275 Fahrenheit, I want to do a no wrap rib and i'm looking at about a five or six hour cook look before we get going on this cook here i want to remind you i have a patreon account and also i now have a join button next to the subscribe button down below that's a, a multi-tier system it keeps you in the uh, youtube family just in case you're not too comfortable with uh, Patreon, this is another way you can support the show. And there's uh, different perks for different levels on different tiers. So I definitely would appreciate if you checked that out. And look, so that's it, man. Four bone dino ribs going down. Happy New Year. Let's rock. Tommy and this is the Gallery Backyard Barbecue and just like that we say goodbye to 2020 and we welcome aboard 2021 oh, yeah. and I have a feeling 21 is going to be a banner year look I gotta mention it again the join button next to the subscribe button it's one way you can support myself and the Gallery Backyard Barbecue it's a multi-tiered type of uh, support that keeps you in the YouTube family. Also my uh, Patreon, I got three new tiers there. One of them's exciting to me. It's a uh, cooking class, it's a Zoom, it's a one-on-one -on -one where you could learn how to make your favorite meal. Uh, availability is very limited on that, so check that out if that's something you think you'd be uh, interested in. Also hit the subscribe, ring the bell, blah, blah, blah. You know the uh, drill there, but look, leave me a comment down below, especially if you've not commented before. And now let's start the show. All right, everyone, look, sorry about that. It's just something I gotta do. And what we got here is a four bone plate rib, dino rib beef ribs. And what a way to start 2021. Okay, look, what I'm gonna do here is, uh, I'm just gonna do a light trimming. I really wanna get as much of that uh, silver skin off the uh, top. And don't worry about it. if you take a little meat with it. The most important thing here is to kind of keep it aerodynamic, right? You don't wanna create any uh, valleys or uh, pitch. You want a smooth type of flow on your uh, beef ribs, brisket, whatever you're, uh, whatever you're making. See, we got a nice marbling on these beet ribs. I am super jacked, man. This is one way, a uh, well, great way to start off 21. And you see a lot of that heavy silver skin. That's not gonna break down. So we definitely gotta get rid of that. And I think that's pretty good there. Now look, on the back of these beef ribs, you wanna leave that membrane on. If you do take it off, you'll lose some of the meat, right? So this kind of holds it together, holds the meat on the bone. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna score it out and that'll get us some flavor moving around, but it'll also hold the ribs together. That little spot right there, oh yeah. There you go. Alrighty, look, you can go with a, a fancy rub, go with your favorite rub, but what I like to do with beef ribs, cause uh, it just got such a great beef flavor, and that's always the uh, star of the show. I just go with that SPG, right? Salt, pepper, and garlic. And basically what I like to do is uh, salt it up first. Then I'll hit it with some uh, pepper, and then I'll hit it with the garlic. That way I got everything controlled. Oh, yeah. There you go. Now 
content you know on these monster ribs. You want to get all sides of the uh, ribs, tops, bottoms, even where you scored it on that uh, membrane. You want to uh, hit it with some seasoning there too. Oh yeah, pat that bad boy in. And you can see I'm using a nice flaky kosher salt, man. That is just going to melt out, just going to form a, uh, you know, kind of like a coat on there, a salty coat, man, on this beef ribs, man. These are going to be good. Kind of like a uh, bark, right? Now look, I don't know if any of that flavor is going to make it through, but you know what? I'm going to hit it with some SPG. No binder necessary. Oh, yeah. There you go. And look, I got my pit, uh, the uh, master built with some post oak in the, uh, in the chamber and down in the ash catcher. And I'm running the uh, pit at 275 Fahrenheit. And we're going to take this right to the end with a no wrap rib and we're going to use a little apple juice 50 50 with some water and we'll spray it down after the uh, second hour every hour and now look anytime you uh put some meat or anything on your ribs you know where the hot spot is right so you want the uh, thicker part of the meat at the hot spot of course We are about an hour and a half in right here, and I'm just giving it a little look over. Make sure nothing's burning, make sure we're, uh, everything's uh, looking good. You see the meat is nice and soft. Everything's breaking down nice. I'll hit it with a uh, that 50-50 mixture. See, we're at four hour mark, and man, we got some nice pullback. I mean, these suckers are looking good. Oh, man. And we are just letting these bad boys run. I'm digging the color, I'm digging the color. Nice bark forming. We'll take these right up to that five, five and a half hour mark, and then we're gonna probe them for toothpick tender. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You see when it goes through like that, man, with no resistance, you know you're done. And we're right about 195 in between the bones, and we're up about 201, 202. I think that's good enough for me. Oh man. Look at that color. That's beautiful. I mean, if you get a chance to pick up these dino ribs, I get them from crowdcow.com. Usually they're out of them, but when I grab them, I definitely grab them and I throw them in the uh, freezer so I have them. This is a nice four bone. You can see we got a uh, just a gorgeous, like a mahogany type color. There's a, uh, you know, a nice bark. Man, these are going to be good. And you see, if you if you took that membrane off, that uh, it'd be coming right off the uh, bone, the meat. So you kind of want it to hold. That's why I like leaving that membrane on. I'll cover these for about 10 to 15 minutes, and then it's time to slice them up. Slicing like butter. 
That is eye candy right there. Got a nice smoke ring. These are juicy. That bark is beautiful with that salt, pepper, and garlic. You see a little toughness on the bottom. That's the uh, membrane. No big deal. We know that's going to happen. Oh, you can see it sliced like butter. So you know a four in a four bone in can probably feed a four people easily. Wow. Guys, I just let that run, man. This is eye candy. What a way to start 21. That is flavor. Oh man, money, money. All right, man, I'm gonna bow out of this one. I mean, this is uh, eye candy to end all eye candy. Oh yeah. Look, I'm gonna run my uh, Patreons up on the uh, screen now. I'm gonna uh, drop a couple other beef rib videos for you to check out. I appreciate the uh, support for all. Leave me a comment down below and let me know that you dug this video as much as I did. Alrighty, so look, until next time, we will see you soon.